If you own a mixed breed dog, you probably have your own best guess answers at the ready when folks at the dog park ask you about your pooch. It's true that for the most part, we have no idea what breed our dogs might really be, and even rescue organizations are only offering their best guess when they list them for adoption. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and the truth is that knowing more about your dog's breed and genetic makeup can actually help you understand their behaviors and their proclivities. And thanks to the advent and popularity of pet DNA testing, it's now possible to find out for sure. Much like you can get a kit to find out your own family history through DNA, you can now do the same for your dog. AuraVet is a company that performs dog DNA tests that can help you learn more about your pet. I had a chance to test out two of these kits on my two new dogs, and I'm going to tell you what I found out about this test. Before we get started, though, if you do end up liking this video or finding it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing, since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. An Oravet DNA test can identify your dog's breed, pinpoint potential genetic anomalies that could cause health problems, as well as help you learn more about your dog's proclivities and breed traits that might affect behavior. Oravet gave me the opportunity to do a DNA test on my two dogs so I could see what the experience is like and what I could learn about my pets, Rainy, a mixed breed rescue that came to us from Mexico, and Kika, a lab cross found abandoned on some local land. Once your Oravet test kit arrives in the mail, doing the test is really simple and takes just a few minutes. Inside the box are two swabs sealed in a plastic wrapper, and you'll want to save that. They look similar to mascara wands on long handles. You're going to roll each one around your dog's mouth for about 15 seconds, then pop it back into the cardboard box to dry for a few minutes. Then slip them back into the wrapper. Next up, you need to activate your kit online so Oravet knows where to send the results. You'll create an account, and the site will give you a special number or activation code, which gets written on the swab wrapper and on the envelope they get sent back in. With that done, you'll seal up the envelope, which is pre-addressed to Oravet, and send it off. Now, results take several weeks, but Oravet will keep you up to date both online and through email about the status of your dog's test. After about three weeks, an email landed in my inbox declaring the results were ready. A word to the wise here. When your results come in, if you access them on your phone, you'll get an email with a link that takes you to what's called a genetic analysis certificate. This is a very simplified one-page version of your results, and to be honest, it is not mobile-enabled, so it doesn't display well at all on your phone. To get the full picture, it's best accessed on a desktop. We obviously had our best guesses about what kind of mixes we have. Our guess with Rainy was that she was some kind of Doberman lab cross. With Kika, we were pretty sure she was mostly lab, maybe with a little bit of shepherd in there. Drum roll, please. My dog Rainy came back as 12.5% Cocker Spaniel, 12.5% Chihuahua, 12.5% Boxer, 12.5% Staffordshire Terrier, and 50% Mixed Breed Unknown. So what's up with the mixed breed unknown? Some owners may be frustrated at getting their dog's DNA report back with a high percentage of unknown DNA. And Oravet explains it like this. While we understand that it can be disappointing and frustrating to receive a report with mixed breed portions or high mixed breed portions, this is a result of your dog's unique and diverse ancestry. What our test is able to do is to detect purebred ancestors in only the most recent three generations of very mixed dogs. However, there are often ancestors in those recent generations that were profoundly mixed themselves, in that case, we are not able to identify the exact breeds. So the gist, dogs are some pretty mixed up creatures. But these results for Rainy actually jive pretty much exactly with another DNA test I did on her last year, which gives me comfort these results are pretty standard and the tests are quite similar and the results are not somehow just made up. And yes, that is an internet conspiracy theory that someone in a random dog DNA lab randomly assigns DNA and breeds for fun. Now, Kika came back as... 25% German Shepherd, 12.5% Lab, 12.5% Chow Chow, and 50% Mixed Breed Unknown. Now, when you see the results displayed, you might not realize you can click on the breed percentage and get more information about that breed's characteristics. It took me three visits to the results page before I stumbled upon this. When it came to the rainy breed details, I was able to learn more about her traits, like that the chihuahua in her is alert, active, and often playful, and she might respond well to reward-based training using treats or toys. Also included in my Oravet dog DNA kit results was some health information. 
Oravet says their lab takes into account your dog's breed, their genetic makeup, their age, sex, weight, and other lifestyle factors to try to predict how likely your dog might be to develop a variety of conditions, things like allergies, heart disease, epilepsy, and more. Reading through this information and dissecting it isn't easy, in my opinion. These conditions and diseases are listed under their less common medical or scientific terms instead of their more common names. You'll get cardiomyopathy instead of heart weakness, for example. And they're given as impact, rank, and estimated prevalence. Now, looking at this wall of medical ease and trying to figure out what it means for your pet is an exercise in patience. You'll need to read through lengthy and densely written paragraphs to figure out what's going on. Here's the gist. Impact rank is shown as a scale of five paws in a range of colors from yellow to red, and it shows the seriousness of any given disease. More paws on the scale means more serious. Estimated prevalence is shown as a speedometer gauge with a line and the numbers 1,000 on the left and 1 on the right. What it seems to mean is also mystifying. Does my dog have a 500 to 1 shot at getting allergies, for example? No. If you hover over the gauge, a pop-up will appear, which will show your dog's chances of coming down with something. While there's obviously some good information in here, you definitely have to work to interpret it. Overall, I think the data you get is good. You'll definitely learn more about your dog's genetic makeup. The results make sense to me, and they also match up with results I got from another DNA test kit, so I think there is some accuracy here. Where I find fault with the Oravet experience is in the data presentation and the user interface. The website is definitely not mobile enabled, and since that's where about 60% of folks consume their content, to me that's a huge oversight. The website interface, though, too, is clunky, it's not intuitive, and you really have to work and explore to see where your information is. Plus, it's not written in plain English, and I think the average dog owner will feel pretty frustrated trying to interpret what's here. Again, overall, the information is great. You just have to decide your comfort level with deciphering it. If you want to read more, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've posted a full review on the Oravet Dog DNA Kit and you can post any questions you have either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Until next time, you can find me on Twitter or Instagram at AaronLYYC. You can also hit me up on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.